Right, today we've got this little guy back. Uh, this is the FreeSky uh, MQ, whatever it was, 60. Uh, I did a review for this about a month, month and a half ago now. Uh, almost two months ago, actually. Um, and generally, this was quite a nice little quad. Um, the one problem I had with it is that the motors were just a little bit anemic. Um, I will probably be flashing up some video now of me doing a little hover test of this quad. Um, and when I actually managed to get it to hover fairly level, the throttle on uh, my Tranus was at about two thirds. Uh, so two thirds up to get it to uh, hover, which means we've only got a third of the throttle left. Um, obviously that's flat hovering. So moving it forward, you have to throttle up even a little bit more. Uh, so you haven't really got much throttle left once the thing's moving uh, in a straight direction. Uh, so I figured I'd give it a shot at trying to fix this. Um, looking at this quad, these are standard brushed motors. Um, I did a bit of research, um, as in I looked at the product sheet. I found that 615 motors, so that's... Uh, six millimeters round and 15 millimeters long um, would fit these. Uh, so what I've done is I've bought some. Um, so I've got a pack of four. These motors are tiny. Um, I guess they are because they're only six mil diameter. Um, so I bought a pack of four from um, uh, Micromotor Warehouse and we're gonna see if these help. So these, I think, were the 19,000 kV motors. I've absolutely no idea what's in the quad to start with. Um, and they just come in a little bag like this. I got them in a padded bag. And um, yeah, that's, this is how you get them. So brushed motors are a little bit different to brushless. It does matter which way round these go. Yeah, 19,000 kV. So it does matter which way around these go. So there's a pair with uh, red and blue and a pair with black and white. And conveniently, because I've already checked this, I have a pair with red and blue and a pair with black and white. So I've already checked on the website and the motor direction of these matches the motor direction of these. So it's just a matter of swapping those two out for those two and those two out for those two. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Thank you. 
All right, so that's the props installed, uh, props motors installed. Um, I've kept the old motors in case something happens. Um, I was quite delicate about removing those, so they should be good. Um, also, I don't have any spare props, so I had to be quite delicate about removing the props, um, which meant that when one of the motors slipped out, um, I, I had real difficulties getting the prop off. Um, what I could have done if I didn't really care about the props or I had some spare ones is just left the prop on the motor. Um, you can take the whole motor out without worrying about taking the prop off. But as I needed it for these ones, kind of needed to get it off without damaging it. I hope I have um, gotten it off without damaging it, that is. Uh, so one of the interesting things I did notice about this while pulling these off, these are reverse direction props. I never noticed that before. Um, all right, so that was the swap over. I guess now what we have to do is give it a test. Um, all I'm gonna do is pop a battery in and see if I can get it to hover. I have just tried to do a test flight and all the motors spun up and the quad didn't go anywhere. And that was at the point where I realized I have literally just said these were reverse direction props. That means the motors are reverse direction as well. Um, which means that these motors, which are the original motors, and these motors are opposite. So the white and black ones on here will be the same as the red and blue ones on here. Uh, so if you do get new motors for this quad, you need to remember that, that the motor direction on this quad is backwards to how a normal quad motor direction will be. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull out all of these motors and I'm going to swap them all over. Um, yeah, so we'll be back once I've done that. And through the power of video editing, uh, this is now done. Um, so I've swapped the motors around, uh, so obviously just flipped the pairs, um, which now means that these are, at least the colour-wise, in the opposite direction to how the original motors were. Um, and the props, on the other hand, are in exactly the same direction. They're still reverse direction. Um, and yeah, hopefully that means, well, I've actually already tested it. I already know that means this now will hover. Um, yeah, so all I'm going to do now is uh, rig the camera up back to how I had it before and um, demo hovering. So this is at a much lower throttle than before. It's actually less than half now. Um, so this gives us quite a bit more punch. Uh, actually makes it also a little bit easier to control. And yeah. I'll bring it in for landing. Oop. Got some wobbles there. Uh, so that was it. I actually went quite um, conservative on the motors. I only got the um, 1700 KV, I th think it was the 1700. I'm gonna have to double check. I will put um, a link to the actual motors that I got in the description. Um, but yeah, they um, make much stronger motors than that. Uh, but I didn't really want a huge amount of extra power, just a little bit would have been nice. Um, and that's what I've got. So that uh, is a really simple mod uh, for this quad. Um, the, the other advantage with this is that brushed motors themselves uh, wear out. Um, so the ability to get additional motors from um, another supplier is always handy. Uh, this is why I'm keeping the originals um, because eventually the motors that are in there will wear out. Um, and then I can just swap back the other ones while I wait for some more. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna obviously be getting some more motors at some point. I'm probably gonna get some more props. And I'm just gonna be having some fun with this quad. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing and uh, possibly leave some comments and thanks very much.